like to. Well, I think here this morning because we're going to have a couple of baptisms this morning. And so um, I want to thank you so much for being here. And if you're here this morning and uh, perhaps you're visiting to, uh, to celebrate with someone who's getting baptized this morning, that's just a special word of welcome to you and we are glad that you're here. And so this morning as we share these moments, I just want to remind you um, uh, here as you witness these baptisms um, of, of exactly what's going on. Uh, baptism, uh, we said a few weeks ago uh, in a message and a time together on Sunday morning, is our public declaration of a new association. Um, it is our publicly declaring that we have now moved from an association with ourselves and following self, uh, moved away from an association with, uh, with the evil one, with Satan, and, and following a course of Hebrew desire, uh, to following and entering into a relationship with Jesus and desiring to live the way he would want us to. And so, uh, so this morning, we are going to have two individuals who are going to share that testimony with you through baptism. Now, another thing to remember this morning, and I'm going to let you in on something that may not be a secret, and that is, is that I don't have a green thumb. If you want, if you're going away this summer or at any time, you don't want to entrust your dear plants to me. Because I have an uncanny ability to kill those little lovers. And uh, it's just, it's just the way it happens. Now, one thing I do know about plants, even though I can't seem to be able to keep them alive, is that if you keep it wet, if you keep it wet, if you give it moisture, appropriate moisture, it's going to grow. It's going to grow. And one of the things that is incumbent upon you and me is, if you would, as these people come here into the baptistry, as they come and as they get wet, that as they leave here, it's incumbent upon us, if you would, to keep them wet. To remind them of the, of the decision and of the commitment that they have made to Christ and the, the desire that they're expressing here to live for Christ on a daily basis. And so join me, if you would, following these moments in keeping these individuals wet. It's also an opportunity, if you would, in keeping with that same idea, uh, for us maybe to get a little moisture ourselves. It may be that some of you who are here this morning are a little dry spiritually. And it's been a while since you've had some refreshing, if you would, some refreshing water uh, and you're thirsty. And so maybe this morning as they share their testimonies and give testimony to their faith in Christ, that, that you also are encouraged, that you also uh, are built up and grow in the things of Jesus for having witnessed these moments together. And so we're going to turn to the baptism now, and we're going to uh, uh, share in these two uh, special celebrations this morning. And uh, the first person who's going to come into the water with me is Mary Gallant. And uh, she has a song this morning she would like for us to share it together. So at this point, I'm going to turn it over to our worship people, and they're going to share uh, Amazing Grace with us and have you sing along. Amazing grace.
receive Jesus Christ as your Savior from sin? Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about how that happened? Well, I wasn't, I had to say to Jesus years before. I didn't think that was something about to God and things like that. I just turned away. So then, I had tragedies with my family and my wife. And I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it or not. My sister didn't help me off and all. I didn't know they could, but there's a turmoil you have inside you when you lose, when you lose both your son and your husband. At the same, in the same year. It's, and so I, I, I have to have to I have to have to have to peace, peace in my heart. I have to have something. We turn back to Jesus. And he comforted me. And he made me, made me find I was happy again. I was taught. He, he, he dulled my heart. He, he, I had his name in the mouth. But when I turned to Jesus, I was happy, really happy, better than I had been before. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> so, Mary, this morning, have you put your faith in Christ? Is it your intention to testify, testify to that through baptism, and declare your desire to live for Him?
you know that you are a child of God through putting your faith, your personal faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior from sin? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about how that happened? Actually, that happened a couple weeks ago while my brother on his apartment taking a picture of the bathroom on Bang Lake. He was giving a story, and I found myself saying some similar things. And I took a turn and said, I want to change. And I want God to forgive me. April, is it your intention to testify to this through baptism? To declare your desire to live daily for his glory? Yes. April, I want to give you a verse to accompany your baptism today. It's a verse from the book of Psalms, Psalm 116, verses 1 and 2. It says, I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he listened and turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. April, my sister, having made public confession of your faith in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and profession of your desire to follow him in death to self and walk in the newness of life, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Very in the likeness of his life. Raise the wall. You know, one of the things that comes out of a moment like this is uh, not only an excitement uh, and uh, a celebration for people who are seeing God do things, wonderful things in their life. Uh, but there's also a reminder here for us. As we look at the New Testament, we see that after Jesus had been baptized by John the Baptist, that it was after that that he was tempted sorely by Satan. That uh, entering and going out of Matthew chapter 3 into Matthew chapter 4, we see that he entered a period of temptation and Satan was not happy at Jesus' identification with the mission of his Heavenly Father. And in the same way, it may be that Satan would seek to sift these individuals who have said, I don't want to live for myself any longer. I don't want to do my own thing any longer. I want to live for Christ. And so let me encourage you to continue to water these believers. Continue to encourage them in their walks. Pray for them regularly that God would continue to bless in their lives.